Test, testing, testing the microphone. Can you can you test your microphone quick? Uh. <laughs> Mine works. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Matt. Hi, Nick. What you is wanna, this? This is Bastion. Hmm. Uh, this is probably one of the best games of last year. Really? Yeah. Uh, this is a indie game. Okay. Um, it's a indie action RPG, I guess you could call it. Hmm. He's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Who's Sometimes talking? You just need a drink. <laughs> the narrator. Hmm. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. The, uh, it's a, an action RPG in the, uh, Japanese tradition. So, like, it's very much like, uh, uh, Secret of Mana. Ah, uh, okay. I guess would be one of the best analogs for it. Okay, sure. Um, the action is great. The RPG bits are also pretty great. Yeah. Um, there's great... He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Sense of persistence. Hmm. Anyway, Rhonda's place just... It's pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The, the artwork is great. Um, and uh, one of this game's... Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Uh, one of this game's claim to fame, one of the things that makes it so great is the narrator. Okay. Um, so he narrates the whole thing? Yeah, he narrates the entire game. Hmm. Uh, dynamically, as you play it. Oh, okay. This is in the very beginning of the game. So, he's, you know, talking about some pretty basic stuff here. Sure. Windbags start turning up for last call. But yeah, but I yeah, you kill these guys, then he'll he'll say something that's relevant, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, it's really cool. It's a that's got to be something creative. unique in video games. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a never really before. Maybe not uh, never ever before. Uh, I'm sure there has been some but some other examples of something similar. I don't know if there's ever been one to this extent. Okay. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. I wonder if we could turn on... Oops. Subtitles. Ah. Uh, Subtitles on. There you go. Uh, that way I don't have to stop talking every yeah. time he does. <laughs> Though it's really tempting to stop talking because he's... It's just cool to listen to, it's yeah. Cool to listen to. <laughs> uh, the voice actor that did it has a really awesome voice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the uh, we're playing this on the Xbox. It's also on the PC. Okay. Uh, and was actually just released on Chrome. You get like Google it in Chrome, browser game. The browser, yeah. Weird. Yeah, you go to the Google Chrome uh, App Store, uh, and you download the whole game. Mm. It's not free. You can get a free demo. Sure. But you have to pay for it, just like every other platform. But yeah, saves your games, syncs your games and, and stuff. And so do you, it, do you? Oh. Whoa! Don't do that. <laughs> What were you saying? Um, what was I going to say? Do, do you, you actually download the game, or do you play it you off down, of you the download cloud, it, or...? Uh, no, you, you do download it. Okay. Uh, but it, it doesn't take very long to download, so I think maybe some of it is still in, quote-unquote, the cloud. Sure. It might be streaming bits of it, maybe, as you're okay. playing. Okay. Uh, but, uh... I don't know. That's okay, I guess. Yeah. Everything doesn't need to be in your browser. 
No, <laughs> I mean, yeah. When I first that, heard that's that, that's a trend I wish would stop. So. Yeah, happening. <laughs> um, He's a mighty fast I uh, I somewhat agree with you, uh, and in the past I would have totally agreed with you. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm an old man, <laughs> and that just seems <laughs> weird. <laughs> Like I just don't I don't it's a it's a web browser what what are you doing it yeah what are you putting games in it for um but if it makes it more accessible yeah if people go in there and I mean more people have Google Chrome than Steam probably oh probably by far yeah which one do we want to go into distillery uh, distillery or? totally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, kind of where there is XP and there's leveling up, but this is actually where a lot of the character progression comes into play, mm. is these buildings, which you first find out in the world like this. Um, and I've got, I've beaten this game already, so I've gotten all this stuff unlocked. Okay. Uh, but then you equip certain stuff um, in these different buildings... Okay. Like this is the the in the distillery you equip these things and they all have different effects. Like this one gives me plus ten max health. Oh, okay. It gives me ten percent critical hit chance. So it's just really a bonus that you select. Yeah, but, the, but these are like perks. Yeah. And yeah. you equip them and you get more slots to equip these perks as you level up. Ah, okay. So you can have multiple yeah, different I'm put perks. Put that one on because it's. Uh, Oh, okay. Well, it's gonna let us. Go. So there were those different levels. Would you get a slot for all of those once you? Uh, yes. So you can have. So when I get like to level two, five of those equipped at once. Um, you can have ten of them equipped. Uh, eventually, yeah. yeah eventually, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just saying, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and here's the arsenal. Uh, this doesn't apparently let me have all my weapons unlocked. Ah. Uh, which is a little weird, but. Yeah. Um, you can. The cool thing is, you have two buttons it's the, on the uh, 360 controllers, X and B buttons. Mm. Um, and you can assign any weapon you want to. Oh, okay. So you can be totally melee if you want, or totally ranged if you want. Mm. Uh, and then you have these extra. That's a nice choice that it gives you, you know? Yeah. Bolt burst. Um, what weapons do you have now? Right now, I just have this fang repeater. Okay. Which is rapid fire, but you get stuck in place while it's shooting. Mm. Uh, and then the hammer. Okay. Uh, but there's a ton of weapons in this game. There's a, yeah, a really you're surprising lock a whole bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, one of the reasons we're playing this game today is it just came out with uh, a piece of DLC. Ah, uh, okay. Which is free. On the computer, it's the equivalent of a dollar in in <laughs> Billy Bucks. Yeah. 80 points on the Xbox. Of course. Um, and that's because of Microsoft's restrictions on uh, not allowing... Uh, apparently, they could have done it as an update, but then they wouldn't have had been able to include more achievements for it, or... <laughs> There's a there's a size restriction. You can't give away much. stuff. It's got to cost yeah. money. Essentially, that kind of <laughs> seems like what it really boils down to, which is a shame. Well, it's but Microsoft, so, yeah. Once taught the kid good manners. I like how the ground appears as you're walking. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, the whole game is it, the story in this game is great. Is it? It's really. What is really the story? Good. I have. Uh, I I have never played this game. I've seen um, you play it a bunch, but I really don't know what's going on. Well, I don't want to give anything away because it is very. It, I mean, I usually don't truck with the idea of spoilers, but oops. Bad time to run out of black I I apparently forgot to play this game. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ah. Um, it it this game is it very much has a storyline that you want to discover for yourself. Okay. 
Um, I, I would... I'm of the opinion that even if you did know what was going on in this, it would still be pretty great, because mm -hmm. usually... Um, I think the story is in the telling. Yeah. Um, but to the the beginning of this game, you just wake up and stuff is wrecked. Mm. Uh, and you don't really know what's going on. And the narrator is narrating everything as you're walking around. Sure. Uh, in this opening area. Um, very soon you will get to this thing called... The Bastion. Hmm. Um, which is, uh... And apparently something happened... Uh... Through most of the game, only referred to as the... Uh, um... Shoot. I forget the word that they use now. <laughs> I, I, I almost wanted to say Cataclysm, but it's not that. It's, uh... Calamity. Calamity, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Th this whole game has a very... Like, Western... Like fantasy western, mm. I guess aesthetic and uh, um, and verbiage use of and terminologies and stuff. Okay. It's also got great music. <laughs> oh yeah, the music in this game is phenomenal. Like I, I paid extra for the the soundtrack of this game. I yeah. bought the soundtrack separately. <laughs> Because it was so amazing. Oop. Yeah. Oh. Um, yes, and you can fall off the edges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a thing that happens. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say before uh, the this DLC it contains a couple of new things. One of the new things is the score attack mode. You see that score down at the bottom there? That was never there before. Mm, okay. That's a totally new thing. Interesting. Um, and uh, something like an arcade meter and mode I'm, sort of thing. Like yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm picking up combos and stuff as I'm going. Sure. Um, another new thing is uh, the uh, um, if you're worried about the challenge. Another new thing is what's called the no sweat mode, mm. which gives you <laughs> that's basically, basically easy lives. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so it's well, it, they. I, I don't. I I haven't tried that myself, but they, the description of it, suggests it's for people that want to, you know, focus more on the storyline and don't necessarily want to be bogged down by. Because this game can get pretty hard. Yeah. Um. Seems like it. Just with the world design. I mean, if you're not careful, you're just gonna roll off the edge. I mean... <laughs> yeah. You're fighting it, these guys and, oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> as you get better at the game, you don't... Get used to it, I, yeah. I, I haven't played this since... I played this obsessively when it came out, but mm -hmm. I kind of haven't played it since. Yeah, I can attest to that, yeah. <laughs> um, I played this pretty much non-stop for about a week. Yeah. Uh, now the kids see something stranger still. His mind races. So yeah, this is the Bastion. Did anybody else survive? What is the Bastion? Sure enough, it's uh, a place where survivors are supposed to go in the case of a calamity. Ah. We talk for spell. So this is I just met the narrator. Okay. Who's only known as Stranger right now. Hmm. Um, and you find these things. So most of the game is about finding these cores. Okay. Uh, that are littered throughout the world in different levels. And you bring okay. them back to the bastion, and you place them in the monument in the center here, and you rebuild. You're rebuilding the bastion. Ah, okay. Um, so the more cores, the bigger the bastion becomes. Yeah, well, but, I mean, the game is over uh, when you find them all. Like, that's that's the... It's it's not like a thing where you can go grind cores or something. Yeah. The story is about finding the cores. Sure. Then once you find a new core, you get one of these things, and you can build a building here. Oh. Um, so, and... Oh, okay, one, okay, one of those, like, level perk buildings. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... 
so I'm going to build the distillery. Hmm. Because Makes time to sample spirits from I can go do one of these. Now, can you return to the Bastion at will, or...? Uh, yeah, the Bastion is like the hub. Okay. You return to the Bastion at the end of every level. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'll, uh, after I equip the thing here, I'll show you. We'll use that one for now. Yeah, so here's the, mm. uh, um, the map. Ah, okay. Uh, and then you're going to different areas from here, uh, and you're unlocking new areas to go to, and, and there's these challenges. There's one, there's a challenge mode for every, or challenge mm. level for every weapon. Hmm. Um, we'll go over here. Get the next core. Hmm. Uh, another thing that's included in this is maybe about halfway through the main story, you unlock this uh, um, this dream sequence thing that's basically just a survival challenge. Okay. Um, and it's... Uh, that was kind of a score attack thing that had score stuff in there before the score attack thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, the score attack thing that's added it to the entire game. Yeah. Um... Uh, but there's and and there's some really cool. There's actually still some pretty great story bits in there too. Mm. At the end of each wave, you get more narration from the narrator, filling in pieces of the backstory of this oh, world. Oh, okay. Uh, which is actually surprisingly deep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this is one of my favorite weapons. My favorite mm. melee weapons. That's cool. <laughs> I like fast weapons. Yeah. Where you can hold it down and throw it. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I need to play this game all over again. <laughs> this game is great. Yeah. I love this game. Uh, this is, uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is one of my favorite games this year. Yeah. This is easily on my personal best of list of 2011. Yeah, cool. Um, that says a lot. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so the the uh, the DLC is called Strange Dream, um, and that's what the you get all of the waves for the, those other challenge modes. Mm. There's a wave that's giving you backstory for each main character in the game. Ah, okay. Um, so the new one is the stranger, the guy that's narrating. Oh, so you get more that's cool. backstory on him. Sure. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> I I need a better gun. I don't like this gun very much. There he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershaw. The calamity ain't the much for Gershaw's sunny disposition. Sorry, it's dangerous to make video games or videos out of games that I love because I can't, <laughs> I can't talk while yeah. I'm playing them because I'm just so enthralled by it. <laughs> um, okay, well, yeah, that's uh, that's Bastion and the Stranger's Dream, D DLC downloadable content. Pretty cool game. Some call one it one of one of Nick's built. top picks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as if that means anything to anybody. <laughs> I value your opinion, so it means something to me. Well, so. thanks. <laughs> you, you already knew that I love this game, so... Well... I guess the f the four people that, that watch our videos... <laughs> now they know. My, my mom so and, now five people and know. two of my best friends <laughs> know that this is my favorite game this year. So, uh... Oops. Oh, yeah, and here's... Upgrade. This is a uh, upgrade for the weapon. Oh, okay. You find these materials throughout the the, the levels, and mm. you can smith your weapons. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Bastion. Yeah, I dig it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.